Hello, my name is Carrie Brown and I'm with the Central Mississippi Regional Library System. Today, I'm going to be reading to you chapters 8, 9, and 10 of Magic Treehouse, Afternoon on the Amazon. Chapter 8, Vampire Bats? Wait, said Jack panting. I think we got away. Jack and Annie stopped running and caught their breath. Where are we? said Jack. Where's the monkey? said Annie, looking back at the forest. Do you think the jaguar caught him? No, monkeys are fast, said Jack. Of course jaguars are fast too, Jack thought, but he didn't want to tell Annie that. I hope he's okay, said Annie. Squeak! Peanut peeked out of Annie's pocket. Peanut, I almost forgot you, said Annie. Are you okay? The mouse just stared at Annie with her big eyes. She looks scared, said Jack. Poor Peanut. Poor Monkey, said Annie. She looked around at the forest. We better check the book, Jack said. He pulled out the book. He turned the pages searching for help. He stopped at a picture of a scary creature. Oh man, what's this, he said. Jack read the writing below the picture. It said, Vampire bats live in the Amazon rainforest. At night, they quietly bite their victims and suck their blood. Vampire bats, said Jack. He felt faint. Vampire bats, said Annie. Jack nodded. After dark. Annie and Jack looked around. The rainforest seemed to be getting even darker. Yikes, said Annie. She looked at Jack. Maybe we should go home. Jack nodded. For once, he agreed with her. But what about our mission, said Annie. What about Morgan? We'll come back, said Jack. We'll have to be prepared. So we'll come back tomorrow, Annie asked. Right. Now which way is the tree house, said Jack. This way, said Annie, pointing. That way, said Jack, pointing in the opposite direction. They looked at each other. We're lost, they said together. Squeak. Don't worry, Peanut. Annie started to pat the mouse again, but then she stopped. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Jack, I think Peanut wants to help us, said Annie. How? The way she helped us in the time of ninjas. Annie placed the mouse on the leafy forest floor. Take us to the tree house, Peanut. The mouse took off. Where'd she go, said Annie. I don't see her. There, said Jack. He pointed to leaves rustling on the ground. A streak of white passed over the leaves. Yes, there, said Annie. Jack and Annie followed the moving leaves. The streak of white appeared and disappeared. Suddenly, Jack stopped. The forest floor was still. There was no sign of Peanut. Where is she? asked Jack. He kept staring at the ground. Jack! Jack glanced around. Annie was standing on the other side of a nearby tree. She was pointing up. Jack looked up. The tree house! Oh, phew! Jack said softly. She saved us again, said Annie. She's running up the ladder all by herself. Look. Annie pointed at the rope ladder. Peanut was climbing up one of the ropes. Let's go, Jack said. Annie started up the ladder, then Jack. They followed Peanut all the way up to the canopy of the rainforest. Chapter 9. The Thing. Jack and Annie climbed into the treehouse. Peanut was sitting on a stack of books. Annie patted Peanut's little head. Thanks, she said softly. I have to write some notes about the rainforest, said Jack. You find the Pennsylvania book. Annie began searching for the Pennsylvania book, the book that always took them home. Jack pulled out his notebook. He had wanted to take lots of notes here, but all he'd written so far was, the rainforest is. It's not here, said Annie. What? Jack looked up. He glanced around the treehouse. Annie was right. The Pennsylvania book was nowhere in sight. Was it here before we left home? said Jack. I don't remember, said Annie. Oh, man, said Jack. Now we can't get back to Frog Creek. That means we'll be here when the vampire bats come out, said Annie. Something came flying through the treehouse window. Ah! Jack and Annie hid their heads. Thud. Something hit the floor. A red fruit. Jack looked up. The monkey was sitting in the window. His head was cocked to one side. He seemed to be grinning at them. You're safe, said Annie. Thanks for saving us, said Jack. 
The monkey just grinned. I just have one question, said Annie. She pointed at the fruit. Why do you keep throwing those at us? The monkey grabbed the fruit. No, don't throw it, said Jack. He ducked, but the monkey didn't throw the fruit. He held it out to Annie. He moved his lips as if he were trying to say something. Annie stared into the monkey's eyes. He moved his lips again. Wow, Annie said softly. I understand now. Understand what? said Jack. Annie took the fruit from the monkey. This is it, she said. The thing we need. What thing? said Jack. One of the special things we're supposed to find for Morgan, Annie said, to free her from the spell. Are you sure? said Jack. Before Annie could answer, Jack saw the Pennsylvania book. Look, our book, he said, pointing. We found the thing, and now we can see the book, said Annie. That's the way it works, remember? Jack nodded. Now he remembered. The ninja master said they wouldn't be able to find the Pennsylvania book until they had found what they were looking for. The monkey screeched with laughter. Jack and Annie looked at him. He was clapping his hands together. Annie laughed with him. How did you know to give this to us? She said. Who told you to do it? The monkey just waved at Jack and Annie. Then he turned and swung away out of the treehouse. Wait, said Jack, looking out the window. Too late. The monkey was gone. He had vanished below the treetops. Goodbye, called Annie. A happy screech came from the mysterious world below. Jack sighed. He picked up his notebook again. He looked at his writing. The Amazon rainforest is. He had to write something before they left. He quickly added, amazing. Jack put away his notebook. Annie picked up the Pennsylvania book. Now it's really time to leave, she said. She turned to the picture of the Frog Creek Woods. I wish we could go there, she said, pointing at the picture. The wind started to blow. The leaves began to tremble. The house began to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then everything was still, absolutely still. Chapter 10, Halfway There. Squeak! Jack opened his eyes. Peanut was on the treehouse windowsill. We're home, said Annie. Jack breathed a sigh of relief. Annie held the fruit up to the afternoon light. What exactly is this? she asked. Maybe it's in the book, Jack answered. He pulled out the rainforest book. He flipped through the pages. He came to a picture of the red fruit. Here it is, he said. He read out loud. The mango has a sweet taste like that of a peach. Mango, hmm, said Annie. She brought the fruit close to her lips. Hey, said Jack, grabbing the mango from her. We have to put it with the moonstone. Jack placed the mango on the M carved into the floor next to the clear moonstone. Moonstone mango, whispered Annie. It sounded like a spell. We're halfway there, said Jack. Two more to go. Then we can free you, Morgan, Annie called, as if Morgan were nearby. How do you know she can hear you, said Jack. I just feel it, said Annie. Oh, brother, said Jack. He needed more proof than that. Squeak! Peanut was looking at Jack and Annie. We have to leave you now, Jack said to the mouse. Squeak! Can't we take her with us? said Annie. No, said Jack. Mom won't let us keep a mouse in the house. She doesn't like mice, remember? How could anyone not like a mouse? said Annie. Jack smiled. How could anyone not like a spider? he said. That's different. Annie patted Peanut's head. Bye, she said. Wait for us here. We'll be back tomorrow. Jack patted the mouse too. Bye, Peanut. Thanks for your help, he said. Squeak! Jack put the rainforest book on top of the book about ninjas. Then he pulled on his backpack, and he and Annie left the treehouse. They climbed down the rope ladder. They stepped onto the ground. They started walking through the Frog Creek woods. Leaf shadows danced in the light. A bird called out. These woods are very different from the rainforest, Jack thought. There's no jaguars or army ants here, he said. No little monkeys. You know, that monkey was never being mean, said Annie. He was just trying to give us the mango. I know. Actually, nothing was being mean, said Jack. The army ants were just marching. That's what army ants do. 
The piranhas were just being piranhas, said Annie. The snake was just being a snake, said Jack. The crocodile was just being a crocodile, said Annie. The jaguar was just taking care of her baby, said Jack. Annie shuddered. I still don't love bugs, she said. You don't have to love them, said Jack. Just leave them alone, and they won't bother you. In fact, that's true about the whole rainforest, Jack thought. Everyone should just leave it all alone. Who cares if the bugs don't have names, he said softly. They know who they are. Jack and Annie stepped out of the Frog Creek woods. They started walking up their street. It was lit with a golden light. Race you, said Annie. They took off running. They ran across their yard. They raced up their steps. Safe, they shouted together, tagging their front door. The end. Thank you. Goodbye.